Hello everyone, happy December. I am headed to a Christmas party tonight. The holiday season is among us. So I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to record a little holiday glam get ready with me. I'll be taking you through touching up my hair a little bit, just straightening it and also my makeup look, which will be just ever so slightly more pizzazzed than my normal everyday go-to makeup look. First, I'm gonna start with my makeup. So I am just going to tie my hair back and out of the way. I did my skincare earlier today, so I am prepped and ready to go, except I do think I need a little bit more life. So I'm going to just refresh my face a bit with some Steli Cosmetics Two Tone Toner. I talk about this all the time. This is my favorite toner ever, and I'm just gonna spritz it around my face. From here, makeup step number one is going to be going in immediately with bronzer. Many of you know, I've also spoken about it in plenty of videos. These days, I have not been wearing concealer and I also do not typically wear foundation. I just don't feel like I need it. I don't feel like it was making any difference. And honestly, I love a less is more natural-ish <laughs> type of makeup approach. So I am going to take my Say Sun Melt Bronzer in medium bronze along with my Merit brush, which I'll say it again, I love this thing. And I'm going to dab some product onto the brush and then just sculpt around my cheeks, warm up my temples and my forehead, warm up my jawline and blend downwards, and then finally warm up my nose. Now that my face is a little bit bronzed, a little bit warmed up, I am going to go in with my favorite blush of all time, which is the Melt Cosmetics Cream Blush Light in the shade Honey Thief. And I am using my Real Techniques 200 brush to dip into this cream blush formula. And similarly to the bronzer, I'm going to go nice and on the um, cheekbone. And the way that I like to apply brush, it, blush, excuse me, is working it from the apples of my cheeks up to my temple and rounding around my temple. It might look a little bit crazy at first, but we're gonna go in afterwards and blend it out. Now, one thing that I did as I was applying the blush that I did not mention I was going to be doing before I started to apply the blush is something that I like to call the lazy girl eyeshadow. Eyeshadow is my least favorite makeup thing of all time. So because this is a holiday party and I wanna go a little above and beyond for my norm, instead of trying to get crazy with eyeshadow, all I did was as I was blending up my blush, I just sweeped it across my eyelid to bring a little extra color and repeated on the other side. And it's gonna bring a very slight extra bit of pop to the eyes. Once we put on mascara, it will enhance the eye um, area specifically even more. And you don't have to go through all the crazy trouble of eyeshadow. So this is the perfect hack for me as somebody who does not love doing eyeshadow. Now that our blush is applied, I'm going in with a wet um, beauty blender. This is a Real Technique sponge. And I'm just going to lightly dab all around, especially where there is um, 
a little bit more of a harsh line to just make sure that everything is seamlessly blended all together. Next step is to put on some highlighter. We have to sparkle, right? I am first going in with the Milk Makeup Cream Highlighter. This is the shade Lit. And how I like to apply this is just by warming a little bit of it on my ring finger. And then I dab on the high points of my cheek. I am also going to add some to my brow bone as well as my eyelid just to add a little extra sparkle and a little extra pizzazz again with this being the lazy girl eyeshadow way of doing things this is how i like to you know have a little eyeshadow hack <laughs> moment once complete on this side I'm going to repeat on the other side before we go in with our powder highlighter. Now I'm going in with my powder highlighter and I am using Fenty Beauty's Trophy Wife, this beautiful, beautiful gold. I have my Fenty Beauty highlight brush. This is 120, if you guys can see that. And I am just going to dab a couple of times in here and then tap off, oops, tap off the excess and tap gently onto, again, those high parts of my cheek. I also like to loop it around my temple, similarly to my blush placement. And then I'm just kind of gently sweeping to get that product on while also diffusing it so it doesn't concentrate in just one area of the cheekbone where I'm applying it. And then I'm just gonna repeat on the other side and also dust a little bit on my nose. For brows, keeping it super simple, I have been loving my natural brows and just letting them do their own thing. So I'm just going in with a little spoolie to brush them, to clean them up a little bit. And the spoolie that I am using is, I believe like one or $2 from e.l.f. And I think I got it from Target. Ulta also carries e.l.f. And I think a few other stores also do. And e.l.f. is really crushing it as a brand. They have a lot of really great dupes at very affordable prices. And something like a simple spoolie does the job and I didn't spend a trillion dollars on it. And once we wrap up on our eyes, then I'm just gonna put on a lip and our makeup will be done before I get into the hair. So all I'm doing for my eyes is curling my eyelashes. I hold the eyelash curler on my eyes for about like 15 or so little squeezes. So a couple of seconds, nothing too crazy. And then I go in with the Lancome mascara primer. I like to wear a mascara primer so that um, my mascara stays on longer. It doesn't start running under my eyelid, making me look tired and like I have dark circles and it helps prevent the mascara from flaking. So once I apply the mascara primer, I then go in and in this case, I am using the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect. I love this mascara. It is very affordable. I think it is under $10. And similarly to the e.l.f. products, you can get it on Amazon. You can get it at Ulta. And I really like how this um, makes my lashes look. And I like how they look thick and it's nice and dark. This is a dark mascara and that's what I really like to help bring a little bit of depth in the eye area. So I am going to go ahead and speed this up and do both of my eyes the same process of applying the mascara primer after curling and then applying the mascara. Now that our eyes are done, you can see that there's just a little bit more depth brought 